from nuclear war to super volcanoes that have 1.3 million times more energy than the little boy. We bring you 5 ways how the world might end. Stay tuned. Number 5. Nuclear War We currently have more than 15,375 nuclear weapons. Russia has 7,000, America 6,970, and China has around 260. Let's just say one day, the world decided to go on a nuclear war and detonated all the nuclear weapons. The blast would kill millions and the radiation would kill another few millions. However, the nuclear blast and the radiation will be the least of our worries. Because the nuclear winter will be far worse, ash produced from the blast will block out the sun, causing temperature to drop drastically. Plants that survive the nuclear blast will either freeze or die because there will be no sunlight. This will lead to the destruction of our ecosystem and finally the extinction of the human race. However, nuclear war is number 5 because compared to Mother Nature's wrath, it is rather petty. Number 4 is pandemic. Before the discovery of vaccine, antibiotics and the importance of hygiene, humans were at the mercy of microbes. They killed billions and destroyed countless societies. The infamous Black Plague even killed one-fourth of the world's population in the year 1353. Today, thanks to better hygiene and advancement in the medical field, pandemic like this will never happen again. We were so wrong. After years of abusing antibiotics and keeping livestock in poor hygienic places, we have created superbugs that are antibiotics resistant. What's interesting is that these antibiotic resistant traits can be passed on from one bacterium to another, even when the two bacteria species are different. So what if one day this ability is passed on to a bacterium that is very infectious and extremely deadly? Furthermore, on average, there are more than 100,000 flights on Earth. We have created the infrastructures for these superbugs to be spread all around the world. Let's hope scientists are able to produce new antibiotics. If not, we might be facing something that is similar or worse than the Black Death. Number 3. Super Volcanoes To give you an idea how powerful volcanoes can be, the eruption of Krakatoa in 1883 has 13,000 times more energy than the little boy. The nuclear weapon that destroyed Hiroshima and the eruption of Krakatoa is not even the worst. There are eruptions that are a hundred times more powerful than Krakatoa. So, just imagine 1.3 million the little boys detonated at the same time. That is what a super volcano is capable of. And just like nuclear war, the ash produced from the eruption will block out the sun trigger a small ice age, destroy our ecosystem, and finally, cause a mass extinction. Number 2. Asteroids If you think super volcanoes are bad, wait until you hear about asteroids. I did the math. The asteroid that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs has around 67 billion times more energy than the little boy or has around 2 million times more energy than the most powerful nuclear weapon ever made, the SAR bomb. So in short, just imagine 67 billion the little boys detonated at the same time. See what I mean by nuclear war is petty compared to Mother Nature's wrath. Same as nuclear war and super volcanoes, the ash that blocks out the sun will be the one that kills the most life forms on Earth and not the impact itself. Number 1. Collapse of Ecosystem Nuclear war, super volcanoes, and asteroids. What do they all have in common? They all produce ash that blocks out the sun. This reduces Earth's temperature, 
plants would freeze to death or die due to the absence of sunlight. This would trigger a chain reaction and at the end of the day, almost every life form on earth would die off. Basically, imagine the food web as a skyscraper and plants and animals are the pillars. Remove too many of the pillars and the whole thing collapses. Just to show you how fragile this system can be, experts believe that if all the bees go extinct, humans along with 70% of plants and animals that depend on those plants will go extinct with it. The end of the world, something that is bound to happen sooner or later. Let's hope our intellect will help us extend our days in the universe. Well, at least longer than the life forms before us. This is Vendor Soul, saying stay safe and thanks for watching.